China has signaled plans for a next-generation, nuclear-powered aircraft carrier capable of deploying high-energy laser weapons and electromagnetic rail guns, a technology the United States once pursued but abandoned after years of costly development. During a program aired Sunday by state broadcaster CCTV, Yang Fang, a military commentator and professor at China's National Defense University, said the future carrier could be equipped with more advanced defensive weapons, such as a high-energy laser weapon and electromagnetic rail gun. An electromagnetic rail gun uses magnetic force, rather than gunpowder, to fire metal projectiles at extreme velocities, according to the South China Morning Post. By generating a powerful magnetic field, the weapon accelerates a conductive projectile along twin rails to hypersonic speeds. The system promises higher muzzle velocity, greater range, and reduced firing noise, though it requires enormous amounts of electrical energy. Liang's comments echo earlier plans laid out by Rear Admiral Ma Weiming, one of China's leading naval scientists and a central figure in the People's Liberation Army's electromagnetic technology program. In a 2023 paper, Ma described a nuclear-powered supership designed to integrate electromagnetic rail guns, coil guns, and laser weapons within a unified electrical power grid. It will completely overturn the combat formation of naval fleets that has been in place for over a hundred years, Ma wrote, suggesting such a ship would merge propulsion, power generation, and weapon systems into one advanced electrical architecture. A nuclear power plant could provide the continuous electrical output required to operate rail guns and directed energy systems, as well as next-generation aircraft and electronic warfare suites. China is developing a nuclear-powered supercarrier that could revolutionize naval warfare. This ship would have strong power generation, advanced electromagnetic weapons, and new aircraft. It aims to change how modern fleets operate at sea. Though a launch date hasn't been announced, Chinese state media and military experts say this project is key to China's long-term goal of challenging U.S. naval power in the Indo-Pacific region.